So I was wondering when a big YouTuber or streamer or internet personality influencer would join the hunt. And we have a big one. In fact, people would say he is the biggest streamer on Twitch. Now he's basically on kick on a $100 million deal now. And people are buying him boxes. He is hugely famous. I could see where he puts in, you know, half a million dollars on boxes himself, but then gets another half a million dollars of boxes from his subscribers. The guy XQC is huge. Um, you, I definitely, I think you would put him in the top five of any influencers, and now he's cracking packs. Now, XQC loves gambling, and this is exactly the target market. I'm sure Wizard of Coast couldn't be happier. XQC, again, is a huge, huge fan of gambling. So this makes perfect sense. It's, it's on brand. And now it is a hunt. It is a hunt to get the one-on-one -on -one ring. He's actually pulling it right now. So he's opening it until the wheels fall off, until he gets tired of it. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. Who? I mean... Whatever you think about Wizard of Coast and the Reserve List, Magic 30, all the bad stuff, all the dumb stuff they've done, they've gotten some really good PR from the one-on-one -on -one ring chase. It has been a mastermind of PR. Now, do I love it? No. Do I think it is gambling? Yes. Do I think that they will continue doing this? Yes. XQC, one of the biggest influencers in social media in you know for younger people, is now promoting Magic the Gathering. Who would have thought? So instead of having Brian Kibler promote Magic 30th, that was a terror, that was a disaster. That was the dare to dream scenario that we streamed about all the time. We now have a scenario where XQC on his own on his own has decided, you know what? I'm going to promote the crap out of Magic the Gathering in a very positive way. Again, he is a gambler. So a lot of his audience loves gambling. A lot of his audience is younger. So in terms of what I see, where I see this heading, this has to be a home run for Wizard of the Coast. This is amazing PR. It is exactly what they wanted out of the one-on-one -on -one ring chase to get celebrities involved. You know, Post Malone might make a chase sometime. I'm sure other people will start chasing. I already see a million different fake videos where people have proxies of the card pretending to pull it right to get views i might have to do that soon given the state of the channel but xqc i mean that's a big boy that is a guy who has an audience of loyal legion fans that is a guy who can definitely move the needle in terms of magic the gathering's popularity his demographic is spot on for uh, younger people and I, I do believe this is exactly what, I mean, if you're Wizard of Coast management and you just turn on the news, you obviously have magic as a uh, keyword. And you're just like, wait a second, this dude just has announced, we didn't pay him any money. He's announced on his own that he's now going to buy boxes of Lord of the Rings to get the one ring. And he said, not only is he going to buy boxes, he's going to drop half a million dollars on a product by himself, one dude, and who knows how many boxes other people will give. If you are a store and you have these boxes lying around and XQC says, hey man, I just, you know, I give you a shout out, I do, the promotional value you would have tying your store to XQC is wild. You would be sold out of everything the next day. That's how big XQC is. XQC is just a huge, huge player in this social media space. Um, and he is now into magic, or at least in the gambling component. And, and then what it is, it's gambling. XQC, he does crypto casinos and gambling. He loves gambling, but Twitch banned gambling from um, that one website that no one's allowed to say on YouTube. Uh, you know, it starts with an S, T, A, you know, so on. And now he found a new way to gamble and attract even maybe a, a larger audience to just watch him physically open backs nonstop. Uh, and then he has this $100 million deal on kick. So half a million dollars to him is, you know, it's just pennies. You know, it's pennies, right? But he can do the chase as long as he wants. 
we saw an escalation because it's a one-on-one. -on -one. There's only one copy of it, guys. There's an escalation now. I even see sports card people get involved in it. And that's a little scary to me because I have videos of sports cards. They are very poorly behaved. Sports card people are just investors in particular are just so poorly behaved. They will push children out of the way so they can get some more basketball blasters. And now I asked the question and I didn't actually understand what the answer would be. I, I could not expect this answer. But the question was, when will it be Magic's time to shine? When it will be, you know, Magic, Pokemon shine, soccer shine, wrestling. When you look, went to the Walmart or Target, there was not a single pack of Pokemon around. But there were dozens, if not hundreds, dozens of hundreds of Magic packs, and that's all you saw. My concept was, hey, this got to change someday, right? Like, at some point in time, magic has to have its time in the sunlight, and it does, and now we have it. And to be quite frank with you, it's it's very intriguing to me that X XQC, it's somebody who is a gambler, somebody who has promoted gambling. Um, it is... Um, I'm actually doing some more research. I'm actually watching his stream right now. Oh, man. I mean, this is a whale among whales. This is the king of whales. If he asked his subscriber base that everyone got to donate a box for him, I would probably say 20% of his subscriber base will go ahead and donate a box. Magic the Gathering has hit it big, big time. And it's not because of vintage Magic players or not because of, oh, you know, hey, we have... um. A black lotus it was because of the one one ring the pr the one of one ring has is insane i mean how else can you get at mr beast would it shock me given mr beast actually plays magic for him to jump in and say hey you know xqc is doing it i'm gonna do it too i need you wizard of coast to give me as many boxes as i can get my hands on no because that's what they do they they this is the exact audience they wanted to target, and XQC picked on it like crazy. So congratulations to Magic the Gathering. This was one of the best marketing moves, if not the best marketing move you've made ever, because you have attracted, I mean, to pay XQC, you're probably needing at least a million dollars for any type of sponsorship with him, given how big his audience is. And his audience is the perfect demographic I always talk about, hey, no young kids are playing. No young kids are playing. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. But for XQC, his demographic is exactly the demographic that I fear that Magic the Gathering is losing out on. And they see him opening. It's amazing, guys. Magic is back. Uh, but it's back in a very different way, I would say, than typically. Bye, guys.